mis amores. I lost my voice there. Did you hear that? No, you didn't because I lost it. <laughs> what a great way to start a sexy video. Hola, mis amores. <laughs> oh, okay. When I made my, so if you're new to me, hi, bienvenidos a nuestro canal, los amos, welcome to our channel. Um, if you are new to me, yeah, bienvenidos. I used to have an old channel, and in that old channel, I made one of my favorite videos that I, I made in the entire year, and that was a video on Muscravageur and its raw sexiness, just... Mm. And I mentioned that I compared it to one of my favorite bands, one of the, my favorite songs from Radiohead, and how it's about seducing someone. To me, I feel like that's a seduction for people. Like, like when you're looking at someone, right? And then you, you just like lock eyes and you feel this chemistry that you just want to be with that person, even to just talk to them. That's what most Gravageur is. We're not talking about Must Ravageur. I already did that video. It's lost. My channel's deleted. I don't think I can redo it again. But I wanted to make this video because I found I don't want, it's on a different level of sexy perfume. It's a different feeling. This fragrance to me is not the seduction part. This is an in between the sheets type of perfume. This is this scent where you already got that someone you already are there you're already intertwined and you're you're just feeling a, this enormous passion and aliveness rosendo matu number five rosendo matu and i know i'm saying that correctly because i am spanish <laughs> what if i'm not oh my god Rosendo Matu number five to me when I so it took me on a wild ride at first because it's such a different perfume wow it's incredibly sensual incredibly different and kind of weird but it gives you all the feels you know what you know what I mean it just ignites you it makes me feel just raw and and connected with my sensuality and it's 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 that perfume where it's just intensely sensual it's what it's that feeling of like when you you're already in it you're already reeling in this experience with someone else this sensual bomb of a chemistry with someone else and i just I can't believe that, you know, this is why I love fragrances. I can't believe that a fragrance can emo ev evoke so much emotion and story and exudes as much chemistry as it does. Like even right now when I sprayed it before I started filming, because obviously it's going to be my scent, and it's so captivating. I mean, holy cannolis. Oh my gosh. Wait, now that just went straight up my nose. Sneeze? Yes. <coughs> I love sexy perfumes, but these are on another level. These will... I mean, this... I, I want to know if you have tried it because it's just... It makes you come alive. It makes you like just, like you have to take a moment to be with your feelings for a second when you smell this. It's so beautiful. It's so artistic and it's, it's so captivating. So what it smells like to me, this perfume to me smells like, it's, it's like musky. It's sweaty, it's sweet, like that, like a delicious taste of sweet skin while you're sweating, while you're, you know, like the sweetest, most delicious, sweet sweat that you can imagine. It's, that's the best way for me to describe it. It's completely intoxicating. 
it's kind of it's it's amber it's musk it's delicious but it's not a delicious in a i want to like eat not in the, not a delicious in like a gourmand way just a delicious in a very deep sensual way this is like a romance novel to me like when you're reading a romance novel and it's getting to the middle of the book and you're like just reeling into what's gonna happen and then you get there this is this is that kind of perfume to me i hear your pity paws i hear your paw paws where are you going it's hot in here look at the sun this perfume is just so full of life and passion it's full of lust it's full of power and I'm gonna get real, I feel like it's like that intense feeling when someone's finally, like when you've been lusting, it's full of lust. When you've been lusting after someone and they're finally kissing your neck. I, th that's like the kind of story that plays in my head when I smell this perfume. It's so beautiful. And I'm not trying to sex this channel up, alright? I'm not trying to be like, let's talk about sex. But I think it's such an important topic to talk about and I feel like this is you know one of one of the biggest things that we seek as humans is to feel sensual and and to find perfumes that make um, other things to make us feel this sensual power that we should own you know I think it's it, I think it's a really important conversation for men and for women to be able to have for women to to be able to embrace and to speak and to feel sexual and sensual and for men too for men to be allowed to express and be in their own se sensuality not, not just like this sexual animal instinct that we all know men to have you know like but you know just really be in that sensuality of your humanness because it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful experience and it's beautiful to talk about so i think we should embrace speaking about and having the conversation and talking about things that make us feel this way because it's human nature and it's what we we all lust after uh, we all lust after this feeling this feeling of just sensuality and charm and lust and 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 beauty you know it's it's the biggest form of it's the biggest um artistic expression i think the sun is shining on me and my thighs are sweating on this chair. I have to go close these blinds. Oh my God, this chair is so damp. It's so damp from my sweat on my thighs. It is almost November. Yeah, I think I chose a really appropriate shirt for this video. But I got boob sweat, I got thigh sweat, I got armpit sweat. Not sexy, but maybe. I mean, it's not sexy right now, but in the right situation, with the right perfume, maybe. And I am wearing it, so maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna try and film like this so you can see my shoulder. No, <laughs> it's hot. Oh, anywho, anywho. I really would love to know if you've tried this. Um, I bought it not knowing if I truly loved it, but I knew it was one I had to experience. And you, when my gut, when I tune into my gut and it tells me these things, I'm usually right. I'm always right, <laughs> usually, okay. Uh, yes, I tuned into my gut and it was like, you need to, you need, you need this to experience for yourself. So that's what I did and Wow, it's it's such a masterpiece. It's it's so beautiful and talk about making you feel things. It's it's a romance novel in a bottle. Una novela en una botella. Rosendo Matu number five. Amber sensual musk. Let me know. Let me know if you've tried this. Um, I should read to you the notes, but I mean, I think I explained very well. <laughs> Look at you, why are you saying that? You don't know if you explained it well. I think I, I explained it as best as I could, how this smells to me and how it makes me feel. 
If you have tried it, please let me know. Let me know any fragrances that do this to you. Um, man, women, like all, all of you, just tell me, just talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> tell me what makes you feel this beautiful sensuality that we all have as human beings that it's not taboo at all. It's beautiful. I'm gonna talk to you like this because I'm losing my light. Um, Hablenme, let me know. And yes, I'm sure you'll see a lot more like this kind of video because honestly, it's my favorite subject. Um, my favorite type of perfumes like this. I'm just always looking for a fragrance that's gonna give me feelings. That's gonna put me in a mood. So, así que nos vemos, bebés. Let me know all your thoughts. And I'll see you on my next one. Ciao, ciao. Mwah, mwah. See, I'm not a really sexy girl. I'm just a very silly, silly girl trying to feel sexy. I just bet.